please. Seven o'clock opening roll call, please. Mrs. Cochran? Here. Mr. Ray? Here. Mr. Stripmatter? Here. Mrs. Coons? Here. Mr. Reitner? Here. Ms. Anderson? Here. Okay, we're all here. That's awesome. All right, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Look at us all here. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we're, we're looking first. Looking first for a motion to accept minutes from March 18th, 2024 council meeting as presented and not read, please. I'll make a motion to accept minutes from March 18, 2024. Council meeting as presented and not read. And second. A roll call, please. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? I'm going to abstain since I wasn't here physically. I was on the phone, but I should have said. Okay. 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 Uh, we're looking next for a motion to accept purchase orders from March 16, 2024. March 28, 2024, totaling $3,808.70. As presented in our red, please. I'll make a motion to accept purchase orders from March 16, 2024 to March 28, 2024, totaling $3,808.70. As presented in our red. I'll second. Any discussion, Council? Roll call, please. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. We're looking next for a motion to accept bills from March 16, 2024 to March 28, 2024, totaling $103,211.16 as presented in that red piece. I'll make a motion to accept bills from March 16, 2024 to March 28, 2024, totaling $103,211.16 as presented in that red. Second. Any discussion, Council? Roll we'll call, please. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripman? Yes. Thank you. We're looking next for a motion to accept March 2024 DOPS delinquency report. As presented, not read, please. I'll make a motion to accept March 2024 DOPS delinquency report as presented, not read. A second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Okay, and then we're also looking for a motion to accept February 2024 bank reconciliation report as presented in that red, please. I'll make a motion to accept February 2024 bank reconciliation report as presented in not red. A second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Okay, we're moving into the reading of ordinances and resolutions. Resolution number 7350-2024, a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Love Insurance and the Ohio Plan for Liability and Property Insurance to be effective April 23, 2024 through April 23, 2025. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the Village of Lakemore County of Summit and State of Ohio Section 1, the mayor is hereby authorized to enter into a contract with Love Insurance and the Ohio Plan for liability and property insurance coverage effective from April 23, 2024 through April 23, 2025. Section 2, the fiscal officer is hereby authorized and directed to pay liability and property insurance premiums in an amount not to exceed $69,538 for the year. Section 3, a copy of the policy is attached here too and made part of as if we were written herein. Section 4, this resolution will take effect on the earliest period allowed by law. Resolution number 7351-2024, a resolution accepting the proposal from Hammond Tree and Associates, LTD, for professional engineering services for the sanitary improvements, Phase 2. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the Village of Lakemore County of Summit, State of Ohio. Section 1, Council accepts the proposal from Hammond Tree and Associates, LTD, to perform professional engineering services during the construction phase of the sanitary sewer improvements in the area of Raymond Avenue, Josephine Avenue, Elizabeth Avenue, Martha Avenue, Wilson Avenue, Sanitarium Road, the West End, Church Street, the West End, and Plaza Drive. 
Section two, the estimate for these services is $52,000. The proposal is attached here to and made part of as if fully were written herein. Section three, it is hereby found and determined that all formal actions of this council concerning and relating to the adoption of this resolution were adopted in an open meeting of this council and that all such deliberations of this council and any of its committees that resulted in formal action were in meetings open to the public in compliance with all legal requirements including section 121.22 of the Ohio Revised Code. Section 4, this resolution is declared to be an emergency measure in the interest of the health, peace, and safety of the citizens of the village of Lakemore. Therefore, this resolution should take effect immediately. Ordinance number 1847-2024. An ordinance accepting the dedication of streets and utilities within the Hidden Lake Estates Phase 9 subdivision for public purposes, setting performance and maintenance guarantees, therefore, and providing for immediate enactment. Whereas TWL Hidden Lake LLC, the owner, and or their designated representative have presented a plat subdividing certain property owned by them within the village of Lake Moore, Ohio, and whereas the planning commission of the village has approved such subdivision, and whereas TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative desire to dedicate a certain portion of subdivision land as public streets in the village of Lake Moore, Ohio. And whereas this council deems that the dedication of such streets would serve the interests of the village. Now therefore be it ordained by the council of the village of Lake Moore County of Summit, State of Ohio. <laughs> Section one, that portions of Cottage Cove Drive and Brentwood Avenue as depicted and set forth in the subdivision plat of Hidden Lake Estates Phase Nine are hereby accepted and dedicated for public use along with associated storm sewers, water lines, and wetland area. Section two, that the acceptance of section one herein is conditional upon the owner paying total general improvement costs, including but not limited to storm sewers, storm water detention, wetland area, sanitary sewers, water lines, streets, curbs, gutters, sidewalks, street lighting, and all other necessary improvements holding the village harmless therefrom. Section three, that the acceptance of section one herein is further conditional upon the execution of a bond or irrevocable letter of credit in the sum of $100,000 for general improvement, excluding sidewalks to the village of Lakemore, guaranteeing the completion of such streets and improvements as set forth in section one herein on and before 18 months from the effective date of this ordinance in accordance with the standards and specifications of the Village of Lakemore and the County of Summit, Ohio. Section four, that the acceptance in section one herein is further conditional upon the execution of a bond or irrevocable <coughs> letter of credit in the sum of $8,000, guaranteeing the completion of sidewalks within six months of final building inspection for each individual lot created therein, but no event later than on or before 36 months from the effective date of this ordinance in accordance with the standards and specifications of the village of Lakemore. Section five, the owner will deposit if needed the sum of $5,000 with the village of Lakemore ERA CRA account to cover the necessary cost of inspection, checking of plans and plat, checking of construction and any other necessary inspections of the village in connection with the construction of said streets and in the installation of any improvements therein. TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative shall be furnished an itemized account of such necessary expenditures by the village and shall, in the event that such is necessary, reimburse the village for any additional costs properly incurred in addition to the sum originally deposited or shall receive from the village in the event that the necessary costs are less, a refund of the balance remaining of the sum originally deposited. Section six that in addition to all other sums, TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative has deposited the sum of $200 with the Village of Lakemore to provide for installation of street signs not purchased and installed by TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative. TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative shall be furnished an itemized account of such necessary expenditures by the village and shall, in the event that such is necessary, reimburse the village for any additional costs properly incurred in addition to the sum originally deposited or shall receive from the village in the event that the necessary costs are less, a 
a refund of the balance remaining of the sum originally deposited. Section 7, that the acceptance set forth in Section 1 herein is further conditional upon the execution of a bond or irrevocable letter of credit to the Village of Lakemore by TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative in the sum of $50,000, guaranteeing the maintenance of said roads listed in Section 1 within the subdivision, including storm sewers, storm water detention facilities, sanitary sewers, water lines, streets, curbs, gutters, street lighting, and other improvements excluding sidewalks across open space areas for a period of two years following the completion and acceptance of the construction of said general improvements. Section 8, that the acceptance set forth in Section 1 herein is further conditional upon the execution of a bond or irrevocable letter of credit to the Village of Lakemore by TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative in the sum of $2,000 guaranteeing the maintenance of said roads listed in Section 1 within the subdivision for sidewalks across open space areas for a period of two years following the completion and acceptance of the construction of said general improvements. Section 9, that is, a further condition of the acceptance set forth in Section 1 herein, TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative shall deposit with the Department of Public Services of the Village of Lakemore the original tracings or approved mylars of the improvement plans, all of which shall become the property of the Village of Lakemore. In addition, record drawings in mylar and electronic file or AutoCAD format and related data shall be deposited with the Department of Public Services upon completion of construction. Section 10, that by the dedication of said roads listed in Section 1 for public use as streets described in Section 1 herein, TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or their designated representative do for themselves agree and covenant that they shall pay all special assessments on such parcels herein dedicated and hold the village harmless therefrom. Section 11, that as a further condition to the acceptance set forth in Section 1 herein, <coughs> TWL Hidden Lake LLC and or all titled owners making the conveyance shall provide to the Village of Lakemore a title guarantee and lien releases, if appropriate, for those lands to be dedicated as indicated on the final subdivision plat for Hidden Lake Estates Phase 9. The developer will provide, if requested, inspector reports of existing infrastructure, including, but not limited to, storm sewer film, sanitary sewer film, and pavement cores. The developer will also attain all approvals, permits, easements, etc., required by the County of Summit, Ohio, including the Department of Sanitary Sewer Services and the Summit County Conservation District. Section 12, that the Village of Lakemore Fiscal Officer is hereby directed to deliver two certified copies of this ordinance, plus any applicable filing fees to the Fiscal Officer of Summit County within 10 days of passage. Section 13, that the Mayor and Chairman of the Planning Commission are hereby directed to endorse upon the subdivision plat of Hidden Lake Estates Phase 9 the approval and acceptance of this council of the roads listed in Section 1 within the subdivision as dedicated street to the Village. Section 14, that is found and determined that all formal actions of this council concerning and relating to the adoption of this ordinance were adopted in an open meeting of this council and that all deliberations of this council and any of its committees that resulted in such formal action were in meetings open to the public in compliance with all legal requirements, including Section 121.22 of the Ohio Revised Code. Section 15, this ordinance is hereby declared to be an emergency measure necessary for the immediate preservation of the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the Village of Lakemore, Ohio. Therefore, this ordinance shall go into effect immediately. Ordinance number 1848-2024, an ordinance to amend Ordinance 1833-2023, make appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the Village of Lakemore, State of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2024. Now therefore, be it ordained by the Council of the Village of Lakemore County of Summit, State of Ohio, Section 1, Council approves to increase appropriations in general fund $7,000 for replacement for fire engine door, American Rescue Act Fund 2053, $30,080.07 from the police hiring grant. Section 2, Council approves to increase revenues in American Rescue Act Fund 
$30,080.07 from the police hiring grant. Section 3, Treasury for payments from any of the foregoing appropriations upon receiving proper certificates and vouchers, therefore, approved by the board or officers authorized by law to approve the same, or an ordinance or resolution of council to make the expenditures, provided that no warrant shall be drawn or paid for salaries or wages except to persons employed by authority of and in accordance with law or ordinance. It shall be provided further that the appropriations for contingencies can only be expended upon a bill of two-thirds vote of council for items of expense constituting a legal obligation against the village for purposes other than those covered by other specific appropriations herein made. Section 4, this ordinance is hereby declared to be an emergency measure necessary for the immediate preservation of the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the village of Lake Ohio. Therefore, this ordinance should go into effect immediately. <coughs> ordinance number 1849-2024, an ordinance to abolish ordinances 1336-2003, 1559-2016, and all ordinances and resolutions pertaining to employee policies and procedures manual that conflict with the new manual. Whereas Village of Lakemore Council hired Lexapol to organize and update the employee policies and procedures manual, and whereas a new employee policies and procedures manual has been created. Now therefore being ordained by the Council of the Village of Lakemore County of Summit, State of Ohio, Section 1, Council agrees to abolish ordinances 1336-2003, 1559-2016, and all other ordinances and resolutions pertaining to the Village of Lakemore Employee Policies and Procedures Manual that conflict with the new manual. All Lakemore elected officials and employees will be provided an electronic copy for review and acknowledgement. Section 2, the newly created Employee Policies and Procedures Manual will be maintained and updated as required by Lexapol when federal or state changes are mandated. Any changes to local regulations or practices will be adopted by legislation by the Village of Lakemore Council and included in the Employee Policies and Procedures Manual. All Lakemore elected officials and employees will be provided an electronic copy of the updates for review and acknowledgement. Section 3, this ordinance is declared to be an emergency measure in the interest of the health, peace, and safety of the citizens of the village of Lakemore. Therefore, this ordinance should take effect immediately. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, for the mayor's <coughs> excuse me. For the mayor's report, I would like to remind everyone that Lakemore uses Summit County EMS for reverse alerts for severe weather. And please call Tracy Sayers for details at 330-733-6125, extension three. Um, I would also like to remind everyone that this Saturday from 10 to two at Springfield High School is the Rotary four-way test speech competition and we're looking forward to a, a big group of people coming to participate this year and that, uh, that makes me happy. It's this Saturday, April 6th. The Lakemore Food Pantry will be Wednesday, April 24th at 5 p.m. at Lakemore United Methodist Church. And um, should I read this or should I just announce that it's going to be up on our website? Our social, on our social media. Yeah. So we have, we received today uh, for a media release from Summit County Public Health uh, a slew of, of tips and, and be safe, you know, notes as it relates to the eclipse coming on Monday, April 8th. Uh, there's quite a bit here, but we'll have it on our social media accounts. So I won't uh, keep us here for 10 more minutes than necessary. Okay. And that's all I have, um, except uh, I hope everyone had a beautiful and blessed Easter, Easter Sunday. This is the Monday right after Easter. So I hope everybody had a really nice, nice holiday um, celebrating Easter. And that's all I have. We'll start uh, with council reports. Mrs. Cochran. <clears throat> well, I think officially a spring started, what, March the 19th? Mm -hmm. But to me, it's not really spring weather yet. But I do want people to, out in the village to... Um, keep in mind that once the weather gets uh, better, please get out there and clean up your debris, clean up your yards. Um, I work on nuisance abatement and we will be out doing like drive throughs that we do every spring but just to give everybody a heads up to um, make sure that you pick up any debris, any tires, any junk or whatever that you need because we will be starting on that uh, program and I really hope um, to do a lot this year with it. And that's all I have. 
So piggybacking off that a little bit, okay. uh, we are going to have a cleanup day in Lakemore further down the month. Um, but anybody that is looking, instead of, you know, with Republic, we used to have like bulk pickup days whenever we had like the spring cleaning week or whatever. Now Kimball will do those whenever you want. You just got to call ahead. So if you need the number, you can always call the municipal building. Either Tracy's or Megan will help you get a hold of Kimball. Um, but yeah, it's perfect time to spring clean. And you can do it whenever. You don't have to wait for us to declare a week for it. So you just need to make sure that they call ahead. Tires we pick up for $2 a tire, yep. right? Uh, Gene or the crew will pick them up. And then you, know, you just can't throw away like battery or paint, things like that. But uh, yeah, and then I want to announce the next council meetings will be April 15th and May 6th. Both of those are going to be at 7 p.m. Thanks, Sam. I don't think you gave the date for the cleanup day, which will be April 20th will be cleanup day, and we will be a group of people out and about at 8.45 and walking around the village picking up trash and garbage and whatnot and, uh, until about noon. Where are they meeting at? Is it going to be at the church? <coughs> Springfield Assembly of God. Springfield, okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we have a big group. So people might be a little alarmed, hopefully. Mm -hmm. There's enough people that they're, people are like, why are there so many people out cleaning up trash? Well, <laughs> and, and really we should thank the Assembly of yes, God because yes. they reached out to us correctly yes. about this. So Normally um, like two people show up. So I'm right. really <laughs> hopeful that we're going to have a big group of people. So I am too. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, um, and also uh, from what you said about your information on being safe during the solar eclipse, yeah. you can see that on Spectrum Channel, Community Channel 1023. Uh, that was one of our social media pages along with, uh, they also have their um, pages on Facebook, Instagram, X, and also the blog, uh, Springfield Lakemore Community Channel. They just like to, they show all of our Council meetings or public meetings for Springfield, Lakemore, uh, community events, providing somebody gets a hold of them and says, hey, this would be very interesting to show. Um, those guys do a wonderful job. Come out. To, they were out at our uh, Easter egg hunt uh, this past yeah. weekend <clears throat> and watched Frank try to act like a little kid climbing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but right now on uh, the Springfield Lakemore Channel uh, 1021, you can see the uh, Springfield High School and Junior High Winter Choir Concert from uh, back in uh, February. You can see the uh, Springfield Instrumental Musical Departments Presents Leap Day Concert. I take it that was one day that uh, you won't have for another four years. Mm -hmm. um, the Springfield Local School Board of Education regular meetings from uh, March. Uh, Springfield Township Board of Trustees meeting on uh, also from March um, 14th and the Village of Lakemore Council meeting from 318. And those are what are showing right now currently. And if you need to see anything else that's on or have a schedule, uh, there again, you can find it on the uh, Springfield Lakemore Community channel through their blog and Facebook and all those other media. All that good stuff, yeah. All that goody goody stuff. <laughs> and also, to remind everybody, spring is coming, so community garden time. So if you're interested in having a plot for the community garden, uh, call down to the municipality, put in your reservations, and to get your spots. I know my dad's been out there trying to clean them up a little bit, although the weather's been a little cold and he is a little old. And <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't move around quite as well. So. In the cold. In the cold. Right. He's he moves spring. around pretty good, but he yeah. in the cold he uh, <laughs> a little stiff. Mm -hmm. and that's Thanks, John. It. Thanks, John Mickey. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone who um, came to our Easter event uh, this Saturday at the high school. It was an awesome turnout. Um, all the kids got a great amount of candy, uh, and it was pretty quick in and out. I think every parent can appreciate a quick event. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just wanted to thank everyone who volunteered and came and helped us, and we had a great time. So, thanks, thank, guys. Thanks to the Easter Bunny. Yeah, yeah the Easter Bunny, who I kind of know. I don't know. I we averaged kids. 14 eggs a second. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And did we have volunteer? Well, people volunteered. Oh yeah, we for did. Candy, Lake so Lakemore Lighthouse. Lakemore really Light. Yeah. Thank you. Lakemore Lighthouse Church came out. Um, they got a hold of us and they wanted to eagerly help with any Lakemore event. 
Um, so we want to thank them for coming and helping, and hopefully we see more of them in the future as well. So. And any private individuals that donated this um, year? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure if anyone okay. in the community but donated, you. but um, thank you if you did donate some candy. We had plenty of eggs, and like I said, good. all the kids got a great amount. So it was a good turn. We missed you, Richard. We missed you, Laura. But we held down the fort. Mm -hmm. We great did. job. I think we spent, while we were up there, an hour or so. It was this the place the eggs throughout the gym. <laughs> three, that minutes, long. Yeah. <laughs> three minutes, baby. Three minutes around. Yeah. Yeah. Every three minutes minutes gone. Gone. Come on, how many hours stuck in the eggs? My golly. Oh my that's... gosh, Megan and Tracy were here. You wouldn't know. <laughs> I know. Oh, <laughs> <dang>. <laughs> my first year. <laughs> so thank you two for starting well. filling those eggs at 8 a.m. and being here until 8 p.m. <laughs> so it was a great time. Um, oh. I just <laughs> reasons I love our village. <laughs> love seeing everybody. That's oh. all for me. All right, thanks, Nikki. Ed, I would like to announce the council workshops. Next one will be April 10th, and after that, April 23rd, each at 6 p.m. here. Uh, and that's all I have. Okay. All righty. Um, speaking of uh, cleanup days in spring and, and getting things cleaned up, um, well, it's good to clean up the debris and things like that. Um, just kind of maybe be a little mindful as far as cleaning up leaves and things like that from flower beds and that. Um, in order for um, our pollinators to hibernate and things like that, um, it's a good idea to um, leave your leaves in the flower beds and things like that until it reaches um, 50 to 55 degrees on at least five to seven consecutive days. Um, otherwise, um, if you clean that out, then they don't get to come out of hibernation. And um, one of the things that is um, that has been dwindling is the pollinators like bees and, and other flying insects and things like that. And that's where they hibernate. Um, so it's, uh, it's good to um, take care of the, the little things in our ecosystem. Um, the other thing is uh, to remind you if you are, um, if this is your birthday month or any month, um, you go to do your um, license at the um, DMV to renew your tags, um, just kind of make sure that on your registration it does say Lakemore. Um, sometimes, especially for the 44312, um, there is a, a little section in there that it does say um, Akron, but it has in there where the the funding is to go to. So make sure that that says Lakemore because sometimes they have just Akron. And so the monies that should be coming to us to pay for our local roads and things like that from our residents' tags, it's, um, if it just says Akron, it goes to them and not us. So it's, it's good to make sure and that way that money stays here in Lakemore and you know takes helps take care of, mm -hmm. of our roads. Um, the other last thing that I have is the Spartan Snack Pack. Um, does the Snack Pack packing for volunteers? Um, we do four weeks um, at a time, and so our next packing for the volunteers is going to be the third Thursday of the month. I, my phone died, so I'm not sure the exact date that is, but it's always the third Thursday of the month, and we meet at 6 o'clock at um, Boyer, which is now the central admin building for the schools. It's the pre-K building. It's 2141 Pickle Road. Um, so if you are looking to do something with your kids to benefit the community, Boy Scout, Girl Scout groups, um, anybody that needs volunteer hours for any of the school groups like National Honor Society. Um, do they still have Hiromino? No, I'm not I don't, sure. I don't know. Um, but I know there's some um, seniors that, um, that do need to get volunteer hours in, so um, this is a good way to, to help the community and um, to get that taken care of. And other than that, I am done. Thanks, Heather. Um, Administrator's report. So, first of all, it's April, this is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and it is against the law to have your phone in front of you, texting, um, for sure, uh, but I'm not, I don't even think you can, yeah, it's hands you're free. supposed like, to be, yeah, yeah, yeah unless you you're hands free. Hand. So, and you can get a ticket, I think it's $150, so, nice. 
it is scary when you see people driving with their phone right here in mm -hmm. front of them and they're not paying attention to anything. They're so often, yeah. Swerving off the road. Um, so Friday we had a bid opening for resurfacing for Osage and Ithaca. Uh, Geauga Construction, they were the lowest and best bidder and the bid was uh, affordable enough we can do both roads so we're going to be meeting to sign the notice to proceed and commencement date so those two roads will be resurfaced this year so that's exciting um, the friday before we had our bid opening for uh, the sanitary sewer phase one improvements um, and so the company that's actually working on uh, the 6th, 7th Frank Street project, Wenger Excavating, they won the bid for that. So we're also gonna be meeting soon to do a data commencement for that. Um, the 6th, 7th Frank will be starting back up here. Um, they still need to do the sewer lines and then resurface the road and those will be done. And the water tower, they'll be starting back up in a couple weeks. They were waiting for more uh, products to come in metal so um, otherwise if there's any roadways that uh, we're right now we're hydrant flushing we're gonna be hydrant flushing for the next three weeks um, but if there's any roads that uh, have potholes that need done if you just want to give me a call I'll go ahead and start a new list up they did get a bunch but then we had a lot of rain so some of the asphalt might have popped back out. Yeah, so fluctuating temperature sure doesn't help. No, it does not. So give me a call. As far as uh, severe weather, um, as the mayor said, we do use the Summit County Emergency Management Services. They have a reverse alert. Uh, you can have it an email or a phone call. It's uh, computerized though. Uh, for severe weather and other emergencies. Um, we have the link on our website, but you can give me a call and I'll walk you through or come down with your cell phone and we'll help you put it on your phone. Um, but that's a, that is the way that anybody would be notified of a severe weather alert. Um, we haven't had the, the siren out here for a long time. The biggest reason is because you can't hear it. It's, it, it worked when well, it Lake was, Moore was tiny. Yeah. It was really never meant to be. It a was never meant for that. Alert anyway. So, uh, <coughs> but the severe weather, the Summit County EMS, that's what we use. So, that's all I have. Okay. Uh, we'll be appearing before council. Did we be able to look? Yes. Hi, sure. I'm sorry. Thanks. <laughs> Seventeen people. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're all, they're all waiting outside. <laughs> they all look the same, too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, would you, Doug? Would you please uh, appro approach uh, our podium there and state your name and address and the reasons uh, you're here to speak to us tonight? My name is Douglas Fischel. I live at one two three three Main Street, apartment two, here in the village of Lakemore, uh, under KAT Properties. Okay, my concern is about the recycling. And I know years ago, I believed that let the village of Lakemore would take the recycling of people who recycled and give them credibility according to their water and sewer bill. Do they still do that? No. Before me. No, never we've never that. done that. Um, it's, what it is is it's built into our contract <coughs> that uh, Kimball actually they have their own recycling processing facility so the more we recycle the what i guess it benefit? helps keep the cost down what so it helps benefits the whole village of Lake? it does benefit okay, everybody I who has our... my landlord doesn't use kimball okay, okay i'm one i recycle mm -hmm. you can see me down here lots of times mm -hmm. stuff in because we don't have bins there to do it right okay and be kind of nice people would pitch in and start looking out for our community and keeping it clean. Absolutely. Okay. Um, Absolutely. I don't know what other way to do it except for coming down here 
okay, and I've gotten looks by police like, what's he doing? You know? <laughs> and, You're like, I'm just trying to be yeah, good I, for I'm the environment. <laughs> being cleaned up, you know. Yeah. Uh, my other thing that I brought up was because of the high speeds that people are doing down Main Street and Springfield Lake Drive going to the roller rink. It's getting light enough now that I can see children not seat belted in. Mm -hmm. And now, Tracy, you brought up about it's illegal to text. I'm seeing that. Mm -hmm. And they are doing better than twice the speed limit. And then they're racing out, too. Okay? And it's like, I know at one time you all had a thing set up that said the village of Lakemore would tell them how fast they were going. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see these people hitting the wall with tickets. Okay? Because that's the only way they're really going to understand it and have uh, extra patrols in the area. Oh, you got lots of places you can hide one of the Lake Morse police cruisers, okay? And if they don't warn them, you know, because right. by warning them, they're, ah, they brushed it off, you know? Writing them a ticket, it's where it's gonna get around like bad business, mm -hmm. okay? And the thing is, uh, you don't wanna do it through there. Right. They will pull you over and ticket you. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people even pick up open containers of beer and bottles with brown bags, drinking, and they're either going to and dropping them off and leaving, or coming back and getting them. And it's, it's getting out of hand. I will talk to the chief and ask him, with, now that the weather's getting warmer and there's more people, if they can have an officer sit. The speed yeah. trailer, they are waiting for a part to fix it. And, and that then I'll is ask located, him, though, right yeah. all over the village. Yeah. But and we I can know, ask them to put it back on and the... I, not to interrupt, I'm sorry. Okay, but I know that they usually have a unit at the skating rink yes. checking them out. They've had well, a couple of weeks ago, they had trouble there again. Yeah. And it was like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with these kids. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're not getting spanked on the right, right end, you know, <laughs> here instead of here. Yeah. You know, and it's like, but I, I was just raising some of those concerns. And you yeah. brought up about the work that was going to be done, and I didn't write this down, Mr. Cole about the sewer lines and water lines mm -hmm. and that. Uh, a few years back, when Larry Wicks was working for Lake Moore, they put in, a, I believe, a plastic water line that was flexible from the high school to Pawnee. A plastic, yeah, a new plastic How's that working line. out? Good. I would highly recommend Good. replacing all of them in Lake Moore. Well, that's, <laughs> we're working on it. Okay. It's also a very, very expensive project. Okay. So, okay. but that, but that's what we're slowly working on. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, we have no old business on the docket. We have new business. Mrs. Cochran with one item. Mr. Ray with three. Mm -hmm. I'll ask you just to commence, Laura, and then okay. uh, just follow suit. Sam, thank you, guys. I'd like to make a motion to adopt ordinance number 1847-2024. An ordinance accepting the dedication of streets and utilities within the Hidden Lake Estates Phase 9 subdivision for public purposes, setting performance and maintenance guarantees, therefore, and providing for immediate enactment. Do you want to make a motion for the um, But first, yeah, <laughs> but first I should make a motion to dispense with the three reads. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, roll call, please. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. I'll second that. Thank you. Thanks. Um, any discussion? <laughs> no. Roll call, please. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Thank you. Cool. Uh, I'll take over and I want to make a motion to adopt resolution 7351-2024. This is a resolution accepting the pro proposal from Hammond Tree and Associates for professional engineering services for the sanitary sewer improvements on phase two. But first I want to make a motion to dispense with the three reads. I'll second. Roll call. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Right. Any original? Second, the original. Thank you. Uh, any discussion, council? Roll call, please. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Cool. All 
All right. Moving on. I want to make a motion to adopt Ordinance 1848-2024. This is an ordinance to amend Ordinance 1833-2023. Make appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the Village of Lakemore, State of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2024. But first, I'd like to make a motion to dispense with the three reads. I'll second. Roll call, please. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. I'll second the original. Cool. Thank you. Any discussion, Council? Roll call, please. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Mrs. Cochran? Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Cool. And then last but not least, I want to make a motion to adopt Ordinance 1849-2024. This is an ordinance to abolish Ordinances 1336-2023 and 1559-2026 and all other ordinances and resolutions pertaining to the Employee Policies and Procedures Manual that conflict with the new manual. Uh, but first, I'd like to make a motion to dispense with the three reads. I'll second. Second. Roll call, please. Take your pick. Roll call, please. Second. <laughs> Yes. Mr. Ray? Yes. Mr. Stripmatter? Yes. Mrs. Coons? Yes. Mr. Reitner? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. I'll second the original as well. Okay, is there any discussion, Council? I, I just wanted to say, I, I don't know. There was a lot of pages. Like, what, 128? I, I Like 178. Oh, 178. That was it. So um, I was, was wondering. a lot of pages that we went through. Uh, yeah, there was. I, I tried to read all of it um i failed <laughs> so um i was wondering they though when when they when the employees are given are they given an actual book that maybe aren't have 178 pages no or? it is going to be where they have everyone's email address including all of yours mm -hmm. and you will be given 10 policies do say a week yeah, we're gonna start with a week. Ten a week. Okay, that's more doable. So you'll end up getting through the entire mm -hmm. manual, and then uh, if there's any updates, they'll get that email to them. They'll have to open it, read it, and acknowledge. And then a few of them, like the drug-free safety workplace mm -hmm. and the sexual harassment, those are annual. So annually, they will get an email saying, okay, now it's time to do this training. Yeah. So we'll have a, a physical response from them or, you know, written, yes. I guess, so to put in she there. She and I will yeah. get, say, showing that they. And you'll put that in their not, file. Yes. Okay. Uh, that was just the questions I had about that. It's a cool system that keeps track over just I like sure it. We I, down I think that, that going with this professional company to do that yes. it is um, very smart mm -hmm. of the village. Things are and we're still meeting with them once a week, so it, so he keeps us updated also, or anything yes. that we need to be aware of. Also. From like the state okay. updates. Laws yes. and procedures yeah. are changing so rapidly yeah. these yeah. days. Yeah. Right, and, and they have a lot of training that's mm -hmm. really good for all the departments. So yeah. I get emails on that, and I'll ship it off to, you know, whichever department. Well, thank thank you for answering my yeah. questions. Thank you too for working on it. Okay. Yeah, good job. Okay, um, are there any other yeah. points of discussion? Seeing that, roll call, please. Mr. Ray. Yes. Mr. Stripmatter. Yes. Mrs. Coons. Yes. Mr. Reitner. Yes. Ms. Anderson. Yes. Mrs. Cochran. Yes. I don't. I haven't um, heard any reason why we need to go into an executive session tonight. Okay. No. So I'll make a motion to adjourn. Nice I'll second. second. <laughs> 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 I haven't been able to get it in. Put, yes. Put. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Reitner. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mrs. Cochran. Yes. Mr. Ray. Yes. Right, meeting adjourned at 7:44. All right. I'll, I'll collect recycling. Here we go. Oh yeah.